So part two, pumpkin soup. We were just talking about adding salt and pepper to taste. They always say to taste, but I'm not gonna taste that stuff when it's not done, cause that's nasty. So you add your salt and pepper. And this is tricky. When you have an Instapot, you have to make sure that you set the little knob. See that little knob? <laughs> I know somebody with a little knob. Anyway, this little knob has to be turned to where it says sealing. Not sealing, but sealing, like sealing it tight. You don't want it in, on vent because you're gonna put it on uh, pressure cook for 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. And then you do this tricky but really fun thing. It's like running with sparklers. When it's done, you have to turn the vent manually to have the steam come out. I mean, you don't have to, but then you'll be waiting, I don't know how long, for your soup. So when it is done, you turn the Instant Pot off and you turn that sucker and it just, you talk about blowing off a little steam. It gives you a little visual for that uh, analogy. And when it is completely done, you can safely take the lid off and then you use this immersion blender, well not mine, but an immersion blender. My sister was using one on Thanksgiving and she said, see, I just use this and then I don't have to hassle. And I just let her share. I didn't tell her, yeah, it's an immersion blender, I know. <laughs> and I got this really good one at a garage sale for a buck. Who cares? Anyway, so then you just blend the heck out of your pumpkin soup. And it's good to have right away, or you can put it in a glass mason jar and save some. And then that incredible Koyo stuff that I showed you in the beginning, or look underneath for the Koyo, you put a blob of that on top. And it is amazing. It tastes just like sour cream. So anyway, there's pumpkin soup. Better than Metamucil. If you're gonna have a lot of it, Better make sure you're hanging out by yourself near a bathroom. Was that too much information? I don't care. <laughs>